Hi, this is Kimberly Elizabeth and I would like to welcome you back to my channel, Bookkeeping Journey. Today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about bookkeeping cleanup. We have to do bookkeeping cleanup for our clients that we are now onboarding and it's if they want the cleanup though because some clients they don't want to go back with all the past transactions and some of them want to start fresh but you still obviously still need to see their books you still need to see their bank accounts so that you can make that call as into how much you are going to charge them each month but when you get when you have on board that client successfully they sign that contract they sign all those documents that you needed them to sign and they are now your client and they want you to do a cleanup you definitely obviously would have charged them to do it for doing a cleanup make sure that you have like a set charge for that and also you still need to gather some documents from them so that you can do a successful cleanup and you can be able to set them up properly in QuickBooks Online get them all cleaned up for their past months or past years that they would have not been doing their bookkeeping that it, everything flows properly and that there's nothing left behind so you make sure that you get everything sorted out. In this video I'm going to give you a brief idea of what goes into your cleanup process so that it can possibly help you to be able to make that list and you can go and research it more on your own. First you will need to gather all their documents, all their past documents and transactions that they would have had. So when I say documents and transactions I mean their their invoices, their sales receipts, their expenses, their bills, past check statements, the paying sit stubs, uh, all these things that we would use on a day to day basis to do their bookkeeping or on a, on a monthly basis to do their bookkeeping so that you can be able to clean up these books properly. So when you gather all that information, make sure that you get a access to their bank account as well so that you can have those bank statements and you can match these with the invoices and the sales receipts and all that. And when you do that, you have to make sure now that you're going to reconcile every single month. So all these past months has to be reconciled to bring it up to bring your to bring the books up to date. Because as bookkeeping professionals, we do reconcile our books every single month so that we can start the next month fresh and that we can always look back in the next eight couple of years at, well, you know, March did better than April, for example, and you can have that and your clients will be very happy and pleased about it. As you go through these invoices and all that and you do the bank reconciliation, obviously, and you're ready to do your bank reconciliation, but you realize that some things are missing and something, certain things aren't matching, make sure that you search, search, search before you contact the client. And before you just go and contact the client, you do every single thing and you put it in order as in I don't have this because so I find this part but I can't find that part and this isn't connecting with this bit. So make sure that you make a list so that you don't be going back to the client 3, 4, 5, 15 times to ask different questions because you want to come across as a professional that you are and when you're going back to answer a question, a question, a question. Uh, I will probably ask myself why didn't you ask me all this one time so make sure that you get everything sorted and every question that you have you note it down you can probably do a form or Excel sheet for this or a Word document sheet for this and be, so you can have all your questions there and then they will have a box that they can fill out at the, at the side or you can probably call them and ask them but they have their list of questions you organize a call so that you can be able to ask them these things and get them all answered at once all right so the cleanup process is very important and you have to make sure that you know how to do cleanup if you don't know how to do cleanup do not offer in your services i offer cleanup in my services because i know how to do cleanup i learned this in the course that i did but one thing i would like to advise you with is once you know how to do that cleanup and you know that you're going to be offering cleanup to your clients make sure make sure make sure that you set up that process sheet on your computer as another step for when you are getting your client all sorted and welcoming them into your company 
Alright, so I thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video helps you to give you an idea of the importance of having these processes in place. So the cleanup process is very important. You don't want to miss a, a beat when you're doing this because this is what will help you to be able to move forward with your client and know that you're moving forward on a clean slate. So think about it. Once you have all these different processes that I've been talking about over the last couple of days sorted and you have a list of things that you know that you need to do and uh, that you need, you have a list of things that you need to do, you have a list of things that you, you, you will require from your client, you have these lists all set up in order, then you are ready to get those clients onboarded, get that client cleaner if they need a cleaner, and then you don't have to be scrambling all over the place when that time comes. So nothing is by surprise for you. You have your step by step there, and if you are doing any course and they're teaching you cleaner or they taught you cleaner, make sure that you write down the steps if they didn't give you a sheet about the steps. We got a sheet for the steps. Uh, on the cleanup process and that is what I have on my computer obviously I will tweak that as I get my clients and as I do clean up for different clients but for right now I will use the basic and I will move from there so just make sure that you have your cleanup process all set up on those lists that you have, would have made for the last couple of days for the onboarding process I did, uh, I did onboarding one and onboarding a client I did onboarding a client one on board in the client part two yesterday and today we dealt with the cleanup process I just want you to be ready to receive that client and we have to be able to tell the universe tell God we are ready and we are open for business we are ready to cut that ribbon and I just want to end this video here I just wanted to make sure that you are coming along on this journey with me to make sure that we onboard our clients and have everything ready to welcome them thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.